allow me for just a couple of minutes to discuss briefly what will kill your missional community before you even ever get it off the ground with all these great strategies and all these paradigm shifts, and it is this, consumerism. Consumerism is a cancer to missional community. It will destroy it from the inside out. There's the obvious application here in that attempting to build an outward-facing faith community with believers who are int intent on just getting their own needs met is simply unsustainable. It's just not going to work. But leaders, before we point the finger at all these selfish believers who are stealing all of our time and energy away from being missionaries to our communities, let it be said, if we develop a church bent towards serving the saved, then the already blessed people will come wanting more blessings. It's just that simple. You will draw the type of people who crave what you're offering. Only Christians want 40 Christian programs to choose from, okay? I mean, I have yet to see a skeptic or a non-believer say, you know, I would consider church, but what do I have to do to get Awanas up in here? You know, <laughs> I'm not hearing it. If we're positioned to reach Christians, then Christians we will reach, okay? Not that there's anything inherently wrong with programs, but the church has a very limited amount of resources, both human and financial. So if we consume them all on programs for saved people, then we cannot expect our folks to live on mission elsewhere because they have already spent their expendable time and energy on the church campus. So if we're drowning in a sea of Christian consumers, we better take a hard look at the scaffolding we have built. <laughs>